What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. And you are looking at the first picture, India's new uh, MOM sent back their uh, mission to Mars. Right now it's in uh, near, Earth, near Earth orbit getting ready to take off on uh, December 1st. They're going to slingshot it around the Earth, hit the thrusters, head it towards the red planet. Um, they're doing tests on all the equipment, make sure everything got up there correctly. And... Uh, more power to them. Here it is. Here, uh, this this is actually a picture of the uh, severe cyclonic storm Helen hurling towards the Andhra Pradesh coast, which has captured India's Mars orbiter in the first image of the country beamed back from its maiden mission to the red planet. Um, so basically, this is pretty awesome. It's already got a couple pictures back. This is the only one they've released. Indian uh, the space agency. So. Pretty neat. I'm excited. I'm really excited about this. Like I said, I've looked at the specs of this thing. This is going to bring us back some pretty high resolution pictures, and I'm hoping that, that India is going to release it. Please, if you are Indian, it, make sure your government releases everything that it comes back because honestly, we are so skeptical here at NASA and uh, the European Space Agency about what they send us, and uh, you know, a lot of the pictures that we have that are uh, not so chosen and picked like they release pictures now that are very very chosen and picked i mean they're uh, definitely not you know just random pictures like they used to come home like they uh mars we had our, our mars uh mission a while ago that, that brought back you know moc which brought back thousands and thousands of pictures that we can go through and we find tons of anomalies in there but it's we're pretty hard pressed to go through the high rise ones and find it. They're really good at keeping it out. So hopefully you guys are going to be taking care of us that way. We're excited. Hopefully you'll make it around December first. Congratulations. At least you know your stuff's working. Um, this I found interesting. Uh, seems like this guy. Uh, there's a billionaire uh, who wants to be one of the first private man Mars mission. And here's the details of it. This is on space.com. You can check this out for yourself. Um, a non-profit space exploration group revealed exactly how it plans to launch two married astronauts on an ambitious manned flight mission to the Red Planet by early 2012 or 2018. 2018, that's pretty amazing. Um, of course, this is not going to happen because they want to use NASA's stuff. So that would also involve NASA and federal funding along with a healthy dose of pioneering spirit. It's not going to happen. Um... The Inspiration Mars Project, which is led by multimillionaire Dennis Tito, was the world's first space tourist. It hopes to partner with NASA using much of the space agency's equipment, expertise, as well as infusion of federal money to get off the launch pad in early January 2018. Perhaps several hundred million dollars in new federal spending can make this mission happen. Inspiration Mars officials wrote in a report released Wednesday that outlines the mission's proposed architecture. We now call on our nation's leaders to seize this singular opportunity to begin human exploration of the solar system and affirm America's leadership throughout the world. They're not going to hand over their stuff. NASA is not going to hand over their stuff to this guy. I just don't see it happening. I'm not sure what NASA has actually said about this yet, but I'm sure they're looking down on it. I would love to see something like this happen. It's, 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 it's pretty neat what they're going to do here, what they're proposing. So the proposed mission for America will launch a married couple towards the red planet sometime between December 25th, 2017 and January 5th, 2018. I don't know why I can't say 2018. What is that with me this morning? It might be 5 a.m. and I've been up all night looking at pictures of Mars and uh, working on websites. That could be it. But two astronauts would not land on the red planet, but would cruise within 100 miles of its surface before heading back home, eventually touching down to Earth in May of 2019 after spending 501 days in space. The flyby mission will help inspire the next generation of researchers and engineers, preserving America's competitive edge in science and technology, Inspiration Mars officials say. It should also lay the foundation for even more ambitious man and exploration of our solar system, they add. There'll be a lot of science return and technology return, Tabor McCollum, uh, Inspiration Mars Chief Technological Officer, told reports, reporters at Tuesday's teleconference. We will think and sort of the break sound barrier for going to Mars and back, enabling a range of missions to occur in the future. The current mission plan, as outlined in the report, calls for using the NASA the NASA's Space Launch System, Mega Rocket SLS, which is in development, with the first flight slated for late 2017. So they they want to use a rocket that's slated for 2017 right there. We really think we're going to have that thing taken care of, but th that just already sounds wrong. Um, sounds way too ambitious. The flyby mission would require two launches in quick succession. The first liftoff, an SLS, would loft four payloads to Earth orbit, an SLS upper stage rocket, a 600 cubic foot habitat module derived from orbital sciences uh, synonymous. I don't know how, how you say this right here. This is their, the I'll just do this. 
OSC's cargo vessel, a service module that would support the habitat module with power, propulsion, and the communication system, and the Earth reentry pod, which would be based on NASA's Orion capsule. The second launch, the one using a commercial rocket, would be deliver the two astronauts to orbit yet to aboard the yet to be selected private spaceship. The crew members would then transform the habitat module and the SLS. Uh, upper stage will propel them onto Mars. All right. The married couple would spend virtually the entire mission in the habitat module, transferring the reentry pod in the last few hours of the mission. Inspiration Mars officials acknowledge that the making of this will happen will be challenging. The reentry pod, for example, will have to protect the astronauts from the blazing heat generated when it slams into the Earth's atmosphere at about 32,000 miles an hour. But it can be done, and the current plan, which emphasizes the use of technology already proven or dependent whenever possible, gives the mission the best chance of success, Inspiration Mars officials say. We submit this report with unreserved faith in men and women of NASA, and with a single-minded commitment to surmounting every obstacle, and with the complete confidence the mission can be done, they write in the report. So, what do you guys think about this? I know it's a little bit long here, I'm struggling through it, it's a little early, but this is uh, this thing's pretty neat here. This is what the artist uh, concept of it is is here um, I'm gonna leave the links below for that one and uh, just to say I, I Maven went up perfect I thought it did it was a great launch they're saying nothing's wrong with it we're on our way to Mars um, everything should be ready to rock so it's uh, gonna be helping the Curiosity rover if everything is it's also gonna be helping the uh, talk to the Opportunity rover. Hopefully everything's okay. The, uh, we haven't heard any news from NASA on the Curiosity rover, what's going on with it. Hopefully we'll find out in the next couple days what this soft short's going to be about, um, or if it's a hard short, soft short, uh, whatever, is, whatever it is. It seems very fishy that they get, once they start heading towards uh, Mount Sharp, they, they just left the one area, and uh, now they're heading towards Mount Sharp, where we really want to go, because the people who do the anomaly videos like I do, we see Mount Sharp at the bottom piece over there as like the, you know, the place to go. I mean, it looks like there's structures there. It looks like there's pyramids there. It looks like there's bridges there. It looks like there's a path that winds up the mountain. And we're going to, they're, they're going to have to take us there because that's where we want to go. Now, I don't know if they're going to go there or not. I don't even know if we're ever going to get this thing back online. For all we know is it could go a couple more miles. You know, they say it could work as it is. Uh, but who knows, go a couple more miles and bomb out on us. And uh, just like... If you watch my next video, I'm going to do another Spirit Rover picture. Spirit Rover was finding all sorts of amazing things. Boxes, metal boxes, uh, things that just look like uh, definitely, you know, man, not, I can't say man-made, whatever. Some sort of art, non, you know, some sort of artificial made structure, you know, like a box. All sorts of stuff it was finding up there. And it just disappeared, you know. And we know where it is, but it just went offline, apparently. So we're hoping Curiosity Rover doesn't suffer the same fate. And if it does, well, maybe we'll have Indias up there to, there, uh, to show us what's up. Make sure we're not, you know, they're not still using it. So I know that the ISROs, that Mars Orbiter mission, is going to have such a good camera on it. It's going to be able to, it'll pick up stuff like Curiosity. So much love, guys. Take it easy. Eight minutes in. Hoping to keep too long. Um... Space news for today. I'm going to do a couple more anomaly videos and uh, you guys rock out. Hope you have a great weekend.